I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Modeling because we're going to focus on decision making pass by pass. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. We're going to alternate between the dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. I'm going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each iteration. We have a joker, pair of wests, two, four, six, eight in cracks with a pair of sixes, three, four, six in bams with a pair of sixes, four, six in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on sixes. We have all the sixes in two or multiples. We also have a lot of two, four, six, eight. That's where I would start. I would break up the west, let the three go, and then I would have to let one of these fours go. We have a pair of sixes in here. I would definitely keep the sixes right here, and I would let one of those go. Since we have a three bam, I would probably pass two suits. Focus on two, four, six, eight, or like numbers with sixes. So let's pass these three. We've got a two and an eight. Let's put the four back. Lots of two, four, six, eight in here. Sixes, sixes still. Two, four, six, eight, no dragons. I think I would stick with the plan. We really only need to let one of these go. Let's let the eight go. There's a red dragon. There is a two, four, six, eight hand with dragons that match. That would be the second from the bottom under evens. So I would keep that dragon. And then I would let one of these go. We have a one, three. Let's let the four go. We're still keeping the sixes. We can maybe play like numbers with sixes and dragons. We have a two. Here's a five. We did have some consecutive tiles in there with four fours, but we didn't have any fives. This is the first five. I think the predominant pattern here is evens, so I would let the five go. I'd still keep the sixes, so I would let one of the twos go. Since we have bam there, I would pick a dot and pass these three. We have a two, four. Oh, there's a dragon. Two, four, six, eight. Clearly, that's what these tiles wanted, evens. So I think I would keep the dragon. That would mean we'd pass those. We're on the cross pass, so we have to pass three. We have to make a choice. I was thinking we could play like numbers with sixes. We have no flowers though, but this would use both multiples. We could still maybe play two, four, six, eight with dragons. There are no gaps there. The like number hand, we have a gap because we have no flowers. So probably what I would do is let this six go and pass those three.
we have an eight. That's a multiple for the dragon hand. Here's a two nine. So we have two, four, six, eight multiples there, matching dragon. I think I would let the green dragon go. Oh, we got the green dragon. All right, so, oh, we have tiles we can pass. Let's pass these three. I think two, four, six, eight with the matching dragon is a good hand to play. We got the green dragon back and the six. So we've got options. I think probably I would focus on two, four, six, eight with dragons. We have a joker, but we could also maybe play like numbers with sixes. We've got options. That was kind of interesting. Two, four, six, eight was a really good category for these tiles, but I think you could have made maybe something consecutive with four, five, six, but I think two, four, six, eight was definitely the strength for this hand. We have a joker, flower, white dragon. Here's two, six, seven, nine in bams with pairs of sixes and sevens. We have a five, six in dots, and then a three, eight in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the pairs, six and seven. Since those are consecutive, I would keep the most of my other tiles. Here's a five, six. We do have an eight and a nine. So here's five through nine. That would leave us with two, three dragon, white dragon. White dragons are a very valuable tile because they're a dual tile. You can use it as a white dragon or a zero in a year hand. So I try not to pass those. I also try not to pass flowers. So I would let one of these go, probably this nine, because we could do six, seven, eight, nine crack, two suits, or we could do five, six, seven, eight something or other, or we could go on the other side, four, five, six, six, seven. I think I would let that nine go. Let's pass these. Here's a six that's in our range. So I would keep it. Now we have to pass. That would be very risky Two matching dragon year tiles and a south, which is also used in a year hand. So I would let one of these go and break that up. We have six, 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 seven, six, five, six. Oh, we could maybe play a pair hand here. We'd have to let the dragon or the dragon, the flower. That's not a flower or a dragon. That's a joker. We'd have to let the joker go. So let's see. I think we would maybe let this eight crack go six, seven, you know, I was just thinking instead of worrying about passing the white dragon, maybe we could use it. If we can get a red dragon, we could play the consecutive hand with opposite dragons. Let's see what happens. Now we have a nine, which we did let go. Here's an eight. There's a bit of a gap though. 
we have six, seven, eight, five, six, eight. I think I would let these go. There's a red dragon. We could play five, five, six, seven opposite dragons. I think maybe what I would do let the six dot go because then we have two tiles we could pass if we get everything we want. Another thing we could do is a flower hand with consecutive tiles. Let's pass these. We got a flower and a dragon. We do have tiles we can pass. Now that's going to be a little risky. Four, five, six. Even though there's one tile in there with a different suit. The dragon hand with consecutive tiles are opposite. Now we, we could play the dragon hand with matching, but then we'd have to let the flowers go. I think I would probably break this up and pass a dragon. Maybe try to use these flowers. Another flower and a dragon. Maybe we could play a quint. Flowers, dragon, one of these. Since we could be playing a quint here, I think I would risk passing a dragon at this time to get a full pass. We got another flower. I would definitely consider playing a quint here. We need more jokers for sure. Let's pass two for optional cross. Dragon. Wow. Oh, look at this development. We could play like numbers with sixes. We would have to let the flowers go. But here's six dragon, six dragon. We could use that for joker bait, maybe even the flowers. But I still think that probably a quint looks pretty good here. First quint, flowers, one of these, and probably the red dragons. It'll take some work, but there's great potential there. We have a joker, flowers, two, south, red, white. Then we have a five, six in cracks, one, three, six, nine in bams, and a three, four in dots. We have a pair of flowers, but no other multiples. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the flowers and play something with flowers. We do have 369, and there's a hand with 369 and a pair of flowers. So I would keep the 3 and the 6, six here. The dragon hand in 369 is matching, so we may or may not be able to use those. Unless we switch to maybe like numbers with dragons. So we have three, six, nine, maybe discard these. Flower. Here's five, six, seven. 
five, six, seven flowers. We really don't need the east. We have no multiples, but we do have a run in here. I'm wondering if a run has more flexibility than three, six, nine. So I would switch, I think. And in that case, I think I would keep the dragon. Although this pung of dragons, I don't know. I think there's no dragon hand that uses more than a pair other than a quint, which we could do, in which case I'd keep that. If we build up multiples, we could maybe switch to a quint. So let's let those three go. A flower. We have a five and a three. No multiples yet except for the flowers. Five, six, seven. I think that's what I would focus on. Pass one of each suit. No multiples. I would probably maybe keep the seven for like number potential and pass these three. Here's a seven and a five, our first multiple. We got a five and here's a dragon. I think I would maybe try for this quint. We're on the cross pass, which is obligatory. I think I would play the quint and pass these. Okay, no keepers, but we could maybe switch back to something consecutive. So I would pass these three. Five. We could maybe switch to like numbers. I think instead of passing six, seven, I would pass these three. Focus on either a quint with fives and these dragons, or maybe like numbers with fives. Ooh, look at that. We got dragons back. We could play this like numbers with dragons. Hmm. We did get five, six, five, six. But I would not focus on a pair hand because we have a joker. I think what I would still focus on here is this quint. Maybe keep the dragon and the five and let these go for discards. Play the quint. When you first get your drawn tiles, focus on the strength of the hand. That's gonna be either multiples or the predominant pattern. Gather tiles that support the strength of the hand and play a category that uses most of your tiles. When you run out of discards, that's when you pick a hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.